Good morning, folks. There's a strong geomagnetic storm ongoing due to that expected CME impact. We'll go over that and the continued eruptive activity. There was a notable earthquake in South America, and we've got two bits of eye candy to close out here today. But we are starting with our star, where the last 24 hours witnessed more M-class flare activity and a CME eruption that may give Earth a glancing blow, but is also surging high-energy protons to Earth. The eruption is very difficult to see towards the end there on the right side, but let's go to the solar wind. Folks, it was not a tremendously powerful impact in terms of solar wind pressure, but it somehow managed to spark a level 3 geomagnetic storm with the KP nearly hitting 7. This is much stronger of an effect than was expected, and aurora were seen as far south as Arizona. These images were sent in to spaceweather.com. And for those of you who have been here for a while, you know this should not be happening. For the fifth time this year, a solar storm from moderate space weather produced unexpectedly high storm conditions, and aurora to much lower latitudes than was expected. We'll be discussing that more in a special video here soon, but this morning it was indeed challenging to spot the additional CME release during the M-class flare off the right side. It was a double peaked flaring event and the coronagraph showed the CME leaving the sun here this morning. The proton levels are enhanced but below warning marks at this time. Eyes staying peeled for more. Top seismic event hit Argentina overnight. It was nearly 600 kilometers deep, so surface impacts were minimalized. Hopefully, not a foreshock of a bigger one to come at the surface. Off to the eye candy. James Webb snapped a shot of the Ring Nebula, and it is incredible. The central star in there is the progenitor, and you can see it has survived the Nova event. Green interior is superheated gases left inside the remnant. Lastly here, folks. ALMA spotted a triple star system in the kink of a plasma stream and they have modeled how it formed out of the material there. The video can be accessed at the link in today's list below the video in the description box. A truly remarkable sight here out of the 4D2U project. These protostars are already setting up their surrounding material to turn into planets in the future where those planets will have three suns and one day Riddick and a ship of travelers will crash there and fight scary alien monsters. We greatly appreciate your support. Solar storm, unexpectedly broad impacts, again. Resources are below in the description box and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.